I'm Tim Herrera with the Sacramento County Office of Education here with another Teacher of the Year profile. We're speaking with Leslie McAfee who is one of two Teachers of the Year for the Sacramento City Unified School District. Thanks for joining us. You're welcome. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell us where you teach and tell us what you teach. I teach at Crocker Riverside Elementary School and I teach the first grade. So tell us about first grade because you've got you know, students with um, you know, a little bit of kindergarten experience and maybe some preschool. What are the things that you have to focus on when they, when, when they come to you? I mean, because you, you've still kind of got the, um, they're really young, yet you know, they're, they're aspiring learners. Um, first grade is a super exciting grade because we teach the students for the first time, they have a full day. In most cases, some kindergartens are full day, but ours are not. <clears throat> and they, they come in and they get to learn how to um, read and write and communicate in collaborative groups. They are um, they're very excited about learning. And so I think as a first grade teacher, it's really important that you know, we bring that excitement to the classroom every day. They're learning about how to be little social beings within an educational and academic setting, and it's very fun to teach them. Because they're, they're, they're finally, they're kind of growing. Mm -hmm. They're growing academically, and you know, they're, they're still very small, but they're, they're growing as, as a person, mm -hmm. and you get to kind of help nudge that along the way. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you emphasize in your classroom? What is your style? Do you have any, anything unique that you do to kind of uh, get them uh, motivated and, and excited? I, I do everything. Um, <laughs> I, I have a very collaborative classroom. Like I said, it's very independent, um, student-centered. Um, so I set everything up so that the students are able to work, to make choices based on what their interests are and their level of learning. And we kind of move through our day um, very, uh, it's very fluid. I do a lot of science and social studies, a lot of writing. Um, I do plays, I do oratoricals, we do, um, we teach other grades, we teach our parents. It's just a very uh, fun education experience, I think, for my students. So when you're talking about uh, social studies on a mm -hmm. first grade level, kind of explain what you do there because a lot of people think of social studies as a middle school or high school subject. Yeah, it's really not. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. <laughs> the students are very interested in the world around them, especially in first grade, because they don't have any preconceived notions. So they only know maybe what their parents have told them or what they learned in kindergarten about the school community. So in first grade, they're starting to learn about the world outside of themselves. And we talk a lot about um, how our society works. And in our room, we are our own little society. So a lot of things will connect right back to them. But the students are very interested in um, how government works, how the classroom is a small version of how it works, how we work together mm -hmm. to make a better learning environment. So it's very, my uh, behavior management has a lot to do with uh, so the students being social. And you had mentioned earlier about collaborative learning. And yeah. you, explain what that means, especially on a really young level. Well, my students uh, work in groups, they work in pairs, they work in, interchanging, always moving vignettes in the classroom. It just depends on what we're learning and where they are. But they, everything is collaborative. We work together as an entire class through the year to get through projects, to move through writing assignments. And it's always um, sharing with someone else, first maybe verbally and then um, through writing and then independently they're able to do it. So it's it's kind of a, a good way to teach the little ones because they learn how to work with everybody, not just their best friend. It's and, and that's how the world works. You work mm -hmm. with people, you work with people who are your friends, who mm -hmm. are not your friends, and it has to be in a big collaborative process. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. And then science. You, you had mentioned uh, that you do a lot of science. Yes. Explain science on a first grade level. Well, uh, 
I love science. We do all kinds of, now it's called phenomenon. We look at things in the world that you really can't, ex you can't explain it. But at first, you think, how does it happen? How does a seed have all the information it needs to become this one plant? And how does that cycle work? And how do these, what kind of animals, we had tadpoles this year in our classroom. Someone fished out of an old pool and we stuck them in our cl class and we watched them. We had to feed them. We had to make sure that they weren't going to drown if they got legs. I mean, it's, it's, um, it's fascinating. And the students like to, they diagram it, they write about it, they think about it, they talk about it, they're excited every day to see what's changing. So science in the first grade classroom is very fun. Mm -hmm. Everything's fun in first grade. It has to be. <laughs> it has to be. Well, yeah. And w what kind of a joy do you get out of teaching the really young learner and seeing that light bulb go off when they really get a concept? I cry a lot. I mean, I really get moved. I see kids who, are, who can't decode, and all of a sudden, one day, they just come in, and they're like, I'm reading, and they're excited, and, and I'm excited. So um, just, they're not really that little. If, if you work in a first grade classroom, you would think that you were working with some really, they're already fully developed human beings that have wants and needs, and they know what they're good at and what they're not good at. And when something happens that moves them a step up in the educational you know, ladder. It's just an amazing thing to see. Mm -hmm. yeah. So how long have you been a teacher? Um, 17 years. 17 mm -hmm. years. You know, what, is, what is your thought about, and there are a lot of people that are critical of public education. Uh -huh. um, how do you respond to explaining, you know, the good things that are going on in public education these days? Oh, I think public education is amazing. I think that the teachers are highly trained. I think we work very hard. We collaborate together. We take our knocks. You know, we have a lot of things that are out of our control. We don't control the students that come into our classroom. We get who we get, and we get to love them and teach them. And I think uh, the, the public education, the teacher and the districts, I think they work very hard to accommodate their clientele. I really do, and we love them. And, and to meet the students' needs, uh, professional development is very important, yeah. learning it new. Um, what's your thought on professional development and its value? I love it. I am one of those people who I look for things. I say, oh, I'm going to a, tra a science training in San Francisco um, in a couple of weeks, and um, I have uh, a, a big uh, training at my district in, um, a, in a couple of weeks as well. So I'm somebody who really, really likes it. I like to know the most I can because I want to be the most effective teacher I can be. So what does it mean to you to be named as a teacher of the year? It's going to make me cry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I was kind of, first I was like overwhelmed by it because I know so many good teachers. I know so many people that I look up to who have trained me, who have come to me and said, here is something. I train teachers. I am teaching summer school right now and I'm working with a student teacher and I'm trying to pass on that passion that I have. And it was overwhelming because um, even though I know it's like I'm teacher of the year for one year, I, just to have somebody to pick me and admire my teaching style and to come in my room and see what's going on and say what you're doing is really good is really important because we're so alone as teachers. We don't, once that door shuts in the morning, it's you, you know? So it, it was extremely exciting for me. So what do you say to those people who are considering teaching as a career? Well, I talk to those people all the time. I try to recruit everyone to the teaching profession. I love what I do. And if people have a passion, if they love children, if they have a really good work ethic, if they have patience and they persevere, because with students you have to persevere. You can't just say, well, you had your minute with a teacher and you didn't make the most of it, so now I'm done. You have to hang in there. It is a really, really hard job. And the longer you do it, the more you know you don't know. And so I just tell people, if you think you want to be a teacher and it lights your fire and you have a passion for students, you need to at least give it a shot because it is, and come to my classroom and I will do anything to, to pull you in to be mm -hmm. a teacher. I just, I love what I do. Mm -hmm. Well, congratulations to you on being named a Teacher of the Year for the Sacramento City Unified School District. We've been speaking with Leslie McAfee. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.